Every Houston kid daydreams about it. You're at the plate for the Astros, bases loaded, tie game, bottom of the 24th. Wait, bottom of the 24th? What? Hey, I'm Michael Callahan, and on this forgotten day in 1968, the Astros and Mets faced off at the Astrodome with a 7.01 p.m. first pitch. Now, what took place from that moment forward was something baseball had never before seen. The two squads were completely shut out, knotted at 0-0 for 23 and a half innings. Now, prior to that night, no MLB game had ever gone longer than 20 innings without scoring. Even the Astrodome fanogram got in on the fun. In the 16th, it read, I told you baseball wouldn't replace sex. And then in the 20th, it read, we hope you're enjoying tonight's third game as much as you did the first. Pretty clever, actually. Okay, so how did it finally end? Well, Mets utility man Al Weiss probably wishes I hadn't brought it up. In the bottom of the 24th, with the bases loaded and one down, Houston's Bob Aspromonte hit a sharp grounder to short that should have been an inning-ending double play. But somehow, some way, it rolled right between Weiss's legs, under his glove, and into left field. Norm Miller scored from third to give the Strohs a 1-0 victory exactly six hours and six minutes after the first pitch. Unreal. Now, Weiss could easily have blamed fatigue for his nightmare of a gaffe, but after the game, he told reporters, I just plain blew it. On the bright side, at least it didn't happen in game six of the World Series. Yeah, just ask Bill Buckner about that one. All right, what is the oddest Astros game that you've ever witnessed? Let me know in the comments below or tweet me, Michael Callahan at MCallahanTV using hashtag ForgottenDayHOU. I'll tweet you back.